Abdurrahman, I'm a lecturer at a public university in Kenya. I deliver lectures in computing and informatics. In our last lesson, we discussed about the overview of Java. And in that particular session, we discuss about the compilation process. Also, we discuss about the JVM, that is the Java Virtual Machine Architect. And also, we discuss about the GIT, the Just in time compilation. Today we are going to start on to another topic uh, and in that particular topic we are going to ask ourselves what is an integrated development environment or in short IDE and in that particular journey we are going to discuss the definition of an IDE and then we are going to look at the open source IDEs and then we are going to choose up one and install that particular IDE. So let us start on to that particular journey to start up with a definition. So actually uh, what is an IDE? An IDE basically we can say it is actually a software. So an IDE it is a software suit. So it is a software suit uh, that actually is used for writing and testing software development. So basically an IDE is a sort or a group or, uh, of tools which are used actually for software development. So basically that it is an IDE. Also there are two types of IDE and these particular types we are talking about the open source IDE which is actually uh, free and we have what you call proprietor IDE which actually they are premium so we are supposed to pay for those particular IDE and most uh, IDE will contain basically uh, what uh, we know so most of the IDE will contain uh, what we know a text editor and this particular text editor it will be used actually to write up our code. Also they might contain a code library. So they have got library of some uh, uh, codes or function. Also they must contain what you call a compiler or an interpreter and in our case we see that Java actually uh, contains both a compiler and interpreter. Also, they might contain what we call up a debugger. So a debugger, this it is a tool which can actually look at the code if there's a mistake and uh, actually correct or give you a suggestion to correct this particular mistake. And then they might contain what you call a code uh, uh, auto completion. So we'll have what you call a code auto completion. And some or most of them they control what you call a graphical user interface. So basically that is uh, what we call an IDE. It's a suite of tools or software for writing and testing uh, software development. Let's come to the second part of it and try to understand what are the types of open source uh, uh, IDE. So basically uh, there are actually three types of open source IDE and uh, basically I will say the first one is what you call up a net, NetBeans. So NetBeans, uh, this is an open source software and uh, it is actually uh, uh, developed, by, uh, uh, developed by Oracle and uh, basically uh, it is what you call uh, it has got what you call a modular design, so it supports modular design and uh, basically it supports several program, other programs uh, other than Java, it supports C, C++, it also supports PHP and also it supports uh, uh, HTML5. Other than Java. So the second uh, program and uh, basically it has got so many feature and this particular feature 
uh, which is the most important so its features the most important feature it uh, it contains it it is actually cross-platform so it can be used in any uh, operating system let it be Linux Macs Windows or any other and uh, basically uh, uh, also it is uh, uh, it has got also uh, what you call code auto completion so it has got also code auto completion onto it so that's also a very important uh, thing about it and um, the second one here we are talking about is uh, what we call Eclipse so Eclipse also it's an open source so this also it is an open source and uh, besides that uh, uh, it is an integrated development so it is integrated development and it supports or also C C++ besides Java uh, also it supports Perl also it supports Python and Ruby so it has got uh, several features so let's look at its features actually it integrates what you call the git integration also it integrates a uh, uh, unit test uh, the unit integration also it is cross uh, platform and it has also uh, the auto completion uh, of the code and then uh, another one we are talking about it is what you call intelligent so the intelli the IntelliJ uh, the IntelliJ uh, actually it has got two versions we have got the open source which is free and also we have what you call proprietor uh, which it is premium you have to pay for it so that is the two types and also it supports uh, besides uh, Java it supports Android development uh, for mobile and supports Groovy and also it supports the Scala and it has got uh, 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 several features so it features one of its feature is that uh, uh, it supports what you call J unit testing and it has also what you call the code auto completion and it supports what we have uh, what you call a uh, multi refraction so it also support multiple uh, refraction so this actually uh, they are one of the most uh, used open source uh, open source IDEs the NetBeans uh, the Eclipse and the Intelligent so for our sec uh, for this particular sessions actually we are going to take up Eclipse and try to install and in all our previous lessons actually we are going actually to use up Eclipse so for myself actually I've already installed Eclipse here but I'll show you the process of how to install uh, that particular Eclipse so uh, for us to install Eclipse we are going to go on to two steps in order to install Eclipse step number one basically what we are going to do we are going to install what you call the Oracle GDK that is Java development kit and step number two we are going actually to install Eclipse itself so let's go back and uh, go and see how we can actually install up uh, the same onto it so uh, let's have to install so for us to install we have to go uh, into Google and type the Oracle uh, uh, GDK and under our call GDK here we'll have up uh, the first one which comes out 
and then we actually uh, uh, on to uh, Oracle GDK. We, we are going to the website of uh, Oracle and onto Oracle. When uh, we click up uh, the first uh, uh, GDK on that particular Oracle, it takes us uh, to this particular page. So in this particular page here, we have what you call NetBeans with JDK all together. That is one of the open source we have talked about. And then we have got uh, uh, the download here and another download here. So we are going to go to that particular download and uh, onto that particular download takes us to actually to this particular page. On this particular page on download, here we are. We have to accept the license agreement. So we accept the license agreement. If we are using up Linux or we were told, uh, uh, oh, we are using up Mac or Windows, and uh, which particular type are you talking about? And uh, the machine also which we are talking about. So you can use up actually the window uh, 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 64 bits or whichever machine you are, either the zip or the AXA. So, and then after doing up that, you download it and then install into your machine. After installation, we are going back again now to Google and we type now Eclipse IDE download. Under the Eclipse IDE download, basically what we are going to do it is uh, we are going to Eclipse organization or Eclipse foundation. So when actually uh, we click up here, it takes us uh, into Eclipse uh, foundation and under Eclipse foundation, actually we will get up the latest uh, uh, IDE. So uh, you download uh, this particular uh, uh, IDE and then <coughs> after downloading it, actually we install after we have installed the ide we are coming back here and uh, we'll have a uh, run and open up our uh, our uh, i mean uh, our ide that is eclipse and this is how we look like so when it opens up <coughs> we can rearrange you can rearrange uh, everything onto uh, the workspace for me. I have my console up here and my uh, My code down here. So when we run this particular program uh, We'll talk about how this particular syntax actually looks like in our next session. So when we run this particular program actually uh, It just runs and uh, give us uh, uh, And give us out actually an output here it says actually hello world so until next time whereby we are going to talk about the java syntax and onto that particular syntax we are going on to very big details to explain how we are going actually to do that however don't forget to subscribe onto our next videos